Okay, rigging. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I got some pictures off the internet of other people who have built this, and I see clearly what the threads are doing. And I got some other diagrams here of the rigging. This one's really detailed, but unfortunately it's so damn tiny. Um, this is a pretty good one. These are okay. This one's nice. Anyway, I tried to tie into the old ones, and that's just not going to work out. So what I've done is I've taken the little tiny drill, and I've drilled holes. Then I took our floral wire, and I bent it into little eyelets. And I've glued those into the hole. So my plan is to wrap the threads around the eyelet and up to the mast and super glue it. I think that'll work. So I'm working on the back part here, drilled a couple little tiny holes, and I've got to bend up the uh, eyelets. So this floral wire, you've got to get this thread off. It's just a sheath that they put over it. You just unwind it and pull it back, cut it off, shave it. Whatever you gotta do, get it off, get it off, get it off. Then you'll take um, your needle nose pliers and you just bend a little little hoop, a little uh, eyelet out of it. Like so, you bend it over, bend it over, bend it over, bend it over. Tiny little eyelet. Just like that. Close it off a little better, maybe. Like that. And then peel off the rest of the thread and snip it off and super glue it in the hole you drill. Okay, while the super glue dries on the uh, eyelets that I just installed, I'm going to start working on that uh, Marconi rigging. So I've taken toothpicks on the disc sander and I just turned them down so they'd be a little smaller. I measure out uh, 25 inch lengths of thread, four of them, and then we'll we'll curl them up on these, stretch them over to there, and put a little dot of glue on all four so it sticks to the little dowel. Well, we've got them started here. I've got them wound around the first stick, and one around the end stick, but a friend stopped by with some got awful project he needed help with cutting down an old acrylic sign so we focused on that for an hour or two and now I'm too spent to mess with this so I'll just let this dry maybe a little later I'll work on these other ones on that stick and that'll get this done. Hey, the rigging has begun put a little floral wire post here at the front super glued it in and I've run a couple leads up to the mast you just tie them in a little knot and you put a dab of super glue when you're done. You tie the knot and then go around the mast and tie it again onto the thread that anchors it pretty good. So it's coming. Oh, actually I've got three. I had to drill I had to drill a little tiny hole here in the funnel to run this rig to the mast. And then there's some that come off of it down to the building. It's just wow, exciting. It's starting to look like a ship. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take these old leads, these two, and I'm going to knot this over the new leads. Then once that's knotted and nice, I'll take the new leads and knot it over that. Right? Wow, this is great. So I've, I've fed it through with my little eyelet there, right? This is all going to be one piece of thread. Check it out. It goes to the top, then it goes through the eyelet, and then it'll go to the lower part of the mast. And it'll all be one thread. Wow, the rigging for the front is finished. It wasn't that bad at all. It was actually kind of enjoyable. It felt like doing surgery or something. Open heart surgery. Little tiny threads, little tiny sticks. But boy, my eyelids saved the day and I didn't even bother with the old leads because they were in the wrong place and that gauge thread was too big. So this new thread is wonderful. It's to scale. It fits really good. It got bent. Anyway, um, yeah. This looks good. There is one more thread that has to go over this crane, I believe. Yeah, you can see it there. There's a little thread over there. But I'll add that later. But it worked out well. I just w was able to go around the, the deck railing and up to the leads. 
And then here I did tie on to the old one and go up to there. But the eyelets, the eyelets work great. And then this, I never even had these ones before, the ones to the funnel. So this is far more accurate now and looks looks great. So now we move back here and we do the same thing. Uh, there's two wires from each side back here. One high, one high, one lower. And then same thing up at our eyelets, high and low. So these all stabilized the mast. Since there was such great tension on it with the Marconi that goes across the top, you had to stabilize it. Anything tall back then, you know, you've got to put stays on everything, cables to put tension on it to keep it from falling over in the wind or whatever. And this is coming along. We've got the Marconi, the parallel Marconi wires, all four. Uh, all I did was... <coughs> I wrapped them one at a time around the little toothpick that I cut down and glued them. And you have to wait because you want the tension. You want them to be straight and parallel. So one at a time, wait for the glue, one at a time, wait for the glue, one at a time. And keep it all taut. Keep it pulled tight with tape to the ground so that they stay parallel. And then when it's done, I'll bring all four into a little triangle and attach that to the mast. And do the same with the front. I don't know if you can see in there. But they do magnify it. And you can see tiny, tiny little knot you're working on. A lot better than your old eyes could ever do. When I was younger, I could do this stuff. I could get right up close to a model and see. But as you get older, your eyes don't focus up close so well. It just happens. Part of getting ready to shuffle off, I suppose. The body falls apart. Anyway, this is going to be great. And then I'm going to build a box, I've decided. I'm going to put, uh, put like, nice oak uh, plywood box with a big window cutout front and back. So I think that'll be good and keep the dust off it and I'll never have to clean it again. I'll just run one little lead out for the power pack. Oh, calamity. I tried to tie it to the old threads and tie the knot and it just ripped. So 30 year old sun faded thread just isn't worthy to more to. Um, so we've got a drill there and over here and we'll add n another set of floral eyelets because these things are awesome. They do the trick. There's our little eyelets. Awesome. We got our eyelets right here and right here. And these I already put in before. So, well not before, but I did that today. So that one we can actually start working on. And it's the same deal. It's just one high, one low on the mast. And to the eyelet, one high, one low, and to the mast. To the eyelet. We got our Marconi pretty much ready. Got the parallel wires. I shortened the stick. And now I'm twisting the end into the little triangles. And then we super glue them, twist them up. Or white glue, whatever. I'm trying one of each. This one's super glue, but I'm finding it's a pain because it wants to stick to the masking tape. At least white glue probably come off. Alrighty, we got the rear rigging done. We got our Marconi on. Yes, there's some gluey crap here. Did you all know that they changed the formula on Elmer's glue? It's no longer made from cows. It's some polyvinyl acetate glue. So you get this kind of crap now. And I don't even think it's uh, non-toxic anymore. At least it doesn't advertise it. Anyway, so I've got to go in with a little exacto and scrape all that crap out. But once I get that out, it's really just a matter of four little wires coming down somewhere here, I think, to this little pipe from the wireless Marconi. And a couple other ones in the back, I think. Yeah, these. These go up to the wireless, too. And then it's done. Okay, so calamity ensued. Um, when I was scraping some of that excess glue, uh, one of the little wires, that second one in on the outer edge, broke! Now I'll be damned if I'm going to redo this whole Marconi thing. So believe it or not, I was able to super glue it to the old piece on the dowel. And then I took another piece of thread and I wrapped it around the repair and knotted it. So I'm going to put a little more super glue on that and that'll be fine. But 
Woo! I could be doing open heart surgery. So this wine's pretty good. I, I didn't know if it would be, but it seems like it's pretty tasty. I like it. Really, it's not why I broke that Marconi wire. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm, I'm finished for the night. We'll come back to this fresh in the morning with a good hangover and see what we can do. So I also took a little red paint and touched up the pennant because the edges had white edges. I didn't care for that. And I took some black paint and went over the dowel that I did on the Marconi. I also painted all the rigging where I had super glued it just so it would be a big black mass instead of threads and glue. I can't believe I repaired that one. It's hilarious. Back then we only had 46 stars on the flag. No Hawaii. Some of the other states that were added later.